Today I got a brand new Asus Vivo book. I'm going to upgrade it. I'll show you how I do it. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. Today I got a brand new Asus uh, Vivo book. The exact model is F515JA-AH31. It's a mouthful. Uh, pretty basic laptop. It is, is kind of nice. It has a full 1080 display, a backlit keyboard, USB-C. Um, and it has an NVMe drive in it from the factory, which is only 128 gigabytes. I'm going to bump that up. I'm going to clone the factory drive onto a brand new um, Sam Samsung SSD 980. It's a Gen 3 uh, NVMe drive. Works. They they work pretty pretty well. They're they're pretty fast. 3500 megabytes a second. This is a 500 gig. So we're going to go from 128 that's in there to a 500. I'm going to clone it. I just want to show you how to clone it if you're doing this at home. I'm going to use the free Samsung data migration software. I'm going to install it here in a second and we're just going to clone the factory onto this one. It shouldn't take very long because there's no customer data or anything on this yet, just Windows 10. So the clone should go pretty quick. I'm also going to add another 8 gigabytes of some Sam Samsung memory, DDR4 3200. It's got 4 gigabytes on board. Uh, there should be an open slot in there so we're going to beef it up to 12 gigabytes of memory. Um, Having said that, I'm going to use this a little adapter. I, I have this kind of an adapter I like to use. Now, this is only for NVMe M.2 drives, not SATA M.2 drives. It comes with a cable to USB-C to C or USB-C to, to A type. But I'm going to use a C because we have a C, a C port on this laptop. So moving right along here, I'm just going to go ahead and pop this right in. There's no tools. I'll have a link down below where you can get all this stuff. So I'll just put the drive in there and snap it over the little rubber grommet, just like that. Pretty, pretty simple. We have a lot of these little gadgets laying around here. We normally do, would do these like on our cloning station, but for the sake of this video, again, if you're doing this at home, you'd have to get an adapter like this, or, or any brand, any kind that supports M.2 NVMe <clears throat> if you're cloning it. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug this into my C port over here on the side. Boom just like that. Um, I've already gotten this out of S mode. This, of course, was shipped with Windows 10 S mode. I've already taken care of that. Because typically these types of laptops with only 128 gig SSD, typically they're going to be in S mode. But it's easy to switch out. It's free. I do have a video, a separate video on how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to create a free Microsoft account. Um, again, this is Windows 10. The customer wants to stay with Windows 10. I gave them the option of Windows 10 or 11, but for now, they want to stick with Windows 10. I always give them um, that option for now. So anyway, I'm just going <clears> to, <throat> I've already down <clears throat> downloaded the software. It's right there. It's a shortcut. I'm just going to double click it to get it installed real quick. Just install it like you would install any other program. I'm going to choose English. And when you're cloning, it's, I, I always recommend two things. Don't be connected to the internet. You don't want Windows updates doing stuff in the background. Hit next. Um, and disable power management so it's not going into sleep mode during the middle of your clone. If you have lots and lots of data on your laptop already, that, you know, that's important. So I'm going to hit finish. Now here's our shortcut right over there. It opened right up. But before I do that, oops, sorry. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to power management or power options right here. And I'm going to just tell it not to go to sleep. Oops. Um, when we're plugged in, I'm going to hit never. Kind of doing this at a weird angle, guys, so bear with me. So anyway, um, don't have any other programs running in the background. Uh, this being a brand new laptop, I don't need to worry about that really because it's just Windows 10, basically out of the box. Um, so I already got the power management or sleep disabled. So now here on the data migration, uh, our, you know, for our source drive, we're going to choose the only one available. That's the factory one that's in there right now, the 128. I know that's hard to see. I did crank up the scaling on this because this is a 1080 display I want you to be able to see it and now here it's our target drive being this one here is our Samsung SSD 980 our 500 gig so I'm going to choose that and then because I got scaling on darn it the start is always way down here at the bottom where you can't see it, it uh, here just a second 
I always forget about that. Let me go to taskbar settings real quick. I'm going to automatically hide the taskbar while we're doing this just because I got it cranked up here and it's wait for that to go away. So down here we're going to click on start. Nothing else I have to do. And I'm going to hit start. It's just going to tell us here when it's all done it will shut down the computer so we can install the drive. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to get this process started down here. See we're at 0% over here in the corner. Once it starts, I'll kind of fast forward in the video here and come back at the very end. And then we'll make sure it shut down, open it up, and install the new SSD and the memory. Just want to let this get started here. On these new ones, when there's nothing on it, you know, as far as a lot of programs and pictures and music and documents, the cloning goes goes pretty quick. There it goes. Three, four, it's gonna go pretty quick. So I'll be back right at the end. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, we're right at the end here. Good Lord, that whole clone took only not even two and a half minutes yet. We're at 99%. So let's let that finish up. Little box should pop up here. I know another cloning video. I just like to do these for people that's trying to do this at home. They've never done it before to show you how relatively simple it is. Of course, there's other cloning software you can use. Macrium Reflex 7 is still, I believe, a free. I've used that many times. Give you a little, gives you a little more control over your partition sizes and whatnot. Um, but the free software right from the manufacturer, whether it's Western Digital and a Cronus True Image or the Samsung data migration software, the manufacturer ones usually get the job done. But if you just take those tips I gave you at the beginning when you're cloning, you know, don't be on the internet, turn off sleep, maybe even do a quick check on your C drive check it for errors just make sure everything's clean and not messed up Dis disable as many background programs as you can just go into your task manager and click on the startup and shut everything off do a restart it'll hang here oh the system will shut down to apply the settings it's going to it's doing a countdown i'm just going to go ahead and hit shut down now We'll shut her down, then we'll open it up and install our new RAM and our new SSD, boot it back up, and should have a good clone. All right, it's all shut down. Gonna take this little adapter here, get out our juicy warm SSD, set it over there. All right, guys, let's shut her down and we'll put the new parts in. All right, guys, we got her shut down, ready to open it up. Uh, quick tip I always give is always use good quality tools. Make sure your screwdrivers have good magnetic tips on them so you're not dropping screws where you don't want to drop them. And protect yourself from static discharge, as I am here in my entire shop. So, having said that, I'm going to flip it over. I've already removed all the screws on this bad boy. Um, they are different lengths, so make sure you lay them out. So you know where they go, like here, we like to use these little magnetic pads. We lay the screws out so we can get them back in the same holes. On this model, it's important. So just make sure you put the screws back in the same holes you took them out of. There is one screw left back here in the corner. I'm gonna take out real quick. These four along the front edge here are very short. And these are at one length and these are a different length. So just be careful where you put the screws back in. All right. Um, I like to use my little plastic triangle spudger tool here. It's got a nice little lip on it so you're not shoving it in further than you want to go. So I'm going to get in the seam here. Start in a corner maybe. Oops, wrong way. Kind of just start gently. Yeah, let's try it up here. So I got it in. I'm just going to slide it along. Don't be prying it really hard. And always be careful around where the ports are because there's very little protection there. You don't want to be breaking anything. We got it started here. And I'm going to get my nylon spudger tool here and just kind of poke it in here a little bit. Be careful where your speakers are. <clears throat> but I've done gazillions of these, so I kind of got a lay of the land here. But even then, I'm careful where I put my tools. Just want to get it open. <laughs> so 
some come oh yeah once you see it just kind of broke loose there so let me lift it off voila we got it off this is my AC power brick back here for the laptop don't need that in the way so now that we got it open um, if you've never done this before and you're not sure of yourself it's real simple to disconnect the battery it's right here this little um, connector kind of lifts straight up there's a little metal clip here it's kind of hard to see but you have to gently slide this little metal clip back I'm using a nylon tool it's non-conductive and then we can just go in here and lift that back that cable off just like that again you just don't want to drop any screws or tools on your motherboard while it's juicified but if you're going to do that you might as well go an extra step carefully open the lid just hold the power button in a few times here because those capacitors like to hold juice electricity power all right so we should be okay but don't touch anything you don't have to touch so here's our empty ram slot let's just go ahead and pop in our 8 gig stick ddr4 3200 make sure you get a good clip connectors going good back here is the m.2 ssd from the factory the little sk hynix i see that all the time i like it because it's right by the back here there's some ventilation holes right here right where the ssd is boom right there so we can get some air here right by the fan so that's so that's a plus it's not a gaming laptop so i'm not too concerned about it as far as you know overheating or anything like that but let's go ahead and take out the one screw underneath this tape here we can get that off holding that in right there's the one screw again i'm using a number zero zero magnetic tip phillips screwdriver and always move your tools and screws away from the main board you're taking them in and out just in case you drop it get that out of the way put in our brand new samsung 500 gig right in its place just like that you can see this is a pretty pretty quick little upgrade once you clone it about three minutes to do the clone or less and a few minutes to do this part open it up screw back in just the way you took it out there and yes this is a two and a half inch bay and people always ask me can you put a hard drive in there or a two and a half inch drive there is a connector on the motherboard Finding the actual mount, the, the caddy and the cable for these ASUS, it's really difficult, but you can special order them through ASUS if you go to their website. Um, it's a process, but I've scoured the internet. Um, they're always out of stock or not available. But um, yeah, I mean, there is a spot, but this model, these Vivo books just never come with the caddy or the little cable you're gonna need to connect it. So people always ask me in the comments. So now that we have our parts in, that was easy there. Ram, we're gonna go ahead and pop this battery back down. Just gonna push it gently back straight down. It only goes one way, don't force it. I'm gonna take my little tool here, push that little metal clip back. It doesn't go far, but that little metal clip just pushes gently back and that cable is straight up to disconnect the battery. So we got that reconnected. Yeah, let's put it back, cover it back up, and turn it on. There's our Wi-Fi card. All right, just want to get this back together. I'm not going to put all the screws back in until I know I got a good clone, just in case. <sighs> Lint. All right, guys. So let's just go ahead. I don't need my power cord for this part now. With the new RAM in there, be patient. It might take a minute extra time for it to post it's going to read that ram it's kind of training it bios has got to figure out what's going on so let's just go ahead and hit the power button then blow up so that's a good sign make sure our power light comes on yep so we just got to wait for it to post people have asked me so why turn it on and nothing happens well when you add new ram this is normal some of them you, you even have to do a hard shutdown, turn it back on a second time, and then voila, it'll pop up. But you will know I'm pretty there. We got a post. We got ACs coming up there. See that? 
just got to be patient. Looks like it's trying to boot there. Looks like we got a oh, that glare. Sorry, guys. Kind of hard to see at this angle. We got a we got a good clone. Just let it get back into Windows, and boom, there we go. Now, when you're all done, of course, you can un uninstall your data migration software or whatever cloning software you happen to use. Let me just open up Pass Manager real quick here, and we'll check that RAM. <clears throat> Make sure it sees it all. Yep, we have. I know you can't see this, guys. We have 12 gigabytes of memory, 3,200, okay? And let's just go to Mr. File Explorer here. And, and there's our 500 gig hard drive. We got lots of extra free space now instead of that dinky little 128 SSD the factories like to use. All right, so we got a good clone, good install, quick little easy upgrade. Uh, don't forget to smash that subscribe and like button guys. I would appreciate it. Uh, I hope you found the video helpful Check out more of my videos on my channel. I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day